Now we're gonna look. We're gonna look at this lesson: the effect of change that the a does to the function, a trig function. A changes the amplitude, meaning that it stretches or compresses the graph vertically, meaning along the y-axis. The graphs will be given in this form. In the form y is equal to a sine angle, in our case is x. That number that is written before sine, that's your a. y is equal to a cos a, y is equal to a cos x, y is equal to a tan x. Now, how do you change the graph? That's why in the previous lesson I said it is important for you to know the standard form because these changes are done on a standard form. So, if you have A, how do you change the graph? What you do, you multiply the Y value of the standard form by A, only the Y value. And also, important, you multiply. You multiply the Y value by A. By a. The X values, you leave them as they are. Let us draw the graph. Right, in the question paper, the question might be phrased like this. It says, sketch the graph of y is equal to minus 2 sine x, and the restriction is x is an element of minus 90 and 360. Now, you need to remember all the standard things with a sine function. Number one, you need to remember that sine, you start with a restriction, minus 90, and then there's a change in every 90 degrees. So you're going to have 0 degrees, you're going to have 90 degrees, and you're going to have 180 degrees, and then 270 degrees, and then 360 degrees. Right, this is your restriction. So you only stick to the in, um, x values that you were asked in the restriction. Don't go over, but you will not get much for that. You're actually going to get wrong. After doing that in the standard form, the y-intercept of the sine graph is 0 and 0. You go 0, then you have 1, then 0, 1, 0. No, minus 1. 0, 1, 0, minus 1. 0, 1, 0, minus 1. Because the graph goes like this. So it will go 0, 0, minus 1. 0, 1. 0 minus 1. Right? Then here I have 0 minus 1. Right? This is my standard form. Now, because you have A, which is changing the amplitude, and your A is minus 2. The rule said, if you change the amplitude, you multiply all the y values with minus 2. So you're going to say minus 2 multiplied by minus 1, going to get 2. Minus 2 multiplied by 0, going to get 0. Minus 2 multiplied by 1, going to get 2. Minus 2 multiplied by 2, you're going to get 0. Minus 2 multiplied by 1, you're going to get 2. Minus 2 multiplied by 0, going to get 0. Right. Then you are ready to draw the graph. And then in your y intercept, you have a 1 and a 2, and a minus 1 and a minus 2. You don't use the original y intercept values anymore. You may just cancel them out because taking a rubber and rubbing them out, you're going to waste your time. Just cancel them out. Minus 90 and 0, minus 90 and 2. So minus 90 and 2, 3. 0 and 0, 90 and minus 2, yeah. 180 and 0, 
270 and minus 2, 270 and minus 2, okay, and then 360 and 0. So my function started here, went down, 10 there, went up, 10 there. There. When you look at this function compared to the original function, the amplitude just stretched. It went, the, the, the original one is that one, it just went to, to up. Only the turning point changed, the intercept didn't change. So the amplitude affects the turning point, it stretches the graph. If it was a fraction there, it would have compressed it. So, but if you have that and then you multiply in the intercept, you get the correct graph. Thank you, that's the end of our lesson.